Hey everybody, welcome back to Shapes.io. For those of you who follow this game, you know they just released a huge update just a few hours ago, and I'm here to check it out. Now, I'm hit immediately with this new thing here. It says 1.2.0. Um, view the change log here, so let's see. Okay, rebalancing. The whole game has been rebalanced for one major reason. Belt speeds are simply going crazy with later upgrades. Updates. The maximum belt speed has been reduced from 30 to 16 items. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, second and all up items per second and all upgrades and buildings have been adjusted to fit the new speed. However, keep in mind that it is super hard to balance a game and thus numbers might be off a bit. I'll monitor everything and make adjustments as needed. Vastly improved performance. The performance has been vastly improved. The game should run up to twice as fast, especially for bigger factories. Still, try to keep your factories compact. This does not fix all lag, and too many buildings can still make the game lag. Upgrades can now be unlocked infinitely, giving each a, each giving a small boost to your belt and building speed. Oh, really? Okay. So this is, says Steam only. More upgrade levels. This is only available in the standalone. Okay, fixed stacking and cutter algorithm. Previously, the level 18 shape has been harder to make than it should be, should have been due to a bug in the stacking and cutting algorithms. This has now been fixed. Really? Okay. Let's see. Throughput goals. Some levels and the free play now require a throughput. Really? Oh, that's interesting. Instead of delivering a specific amount, time to automate your factories. Really? All building uh, precision issues. All buildings were a tad slow, especially with low FPS. This should be fixed, and all buildings should work at their advertised speed. Better map overview. All buildings have been improved on the map overview to give you a better understanding of your factory. Also, the transition to the overview is now smooth. Oh, this ought to be interesting. Tier two tunnels have now been have now have a range of nine instead of eight, so eight belts can fit between the tunnel ends. Okay, that's good. That is a good thing, just kind of like uh, Factorio, is more is always better. New changed miners, or chained miners. Chained miners are now automatically selected once unlocked. Additionally, I added a super handy tool tip to help you with the ratios. Okay. Sa named saving games. Uh, naming save games. Now you can name your save game so you don't have to lose the overview. I also added a super safe confirmation so you don't accidentally delete your saves. Music and sound controls. You can now control the music and sound via sliders in the settings menu. Okay. And there's an extended soundtrack. Now has 20 minutes consisting of 10 different songs. Yeah, we'll, we'll not be listening to the music for editing reasons. Okay. An addition, let's see, additional content. The additional content unlocks on level 20 and introduces a bunch of new levels, buildings, and mechanics. If you don't want spoilers, skip this section okay well it's an entirely new layer 2d is lame so i gave you a new layer once completing level 20 you can switch between the regular and wires layer the wires layer allow you to connect buildings on the regular layer to unlock new features and functionality along with the wires layer there are three types of signals introduced boolean shapes and colors a wire can transport any of these signals between buildings. Some of your existing buildings now emit signals, for example, the hub and storage. Item filter. The item filter, once unlocked, allows you to filter items based on the signal input. Depending on whether or not the item is equal to the signal in the filter is connected to, it will direct it to the main output or a secondary one. Tip, you can pass a Boolean signal to it as a simple gate. Oh, life is getting interesting. The quad painter. The new quad painter now works differently. It has four wire inputs and it will paint the shape for every truthy input. Truthy boolean, truthy equals boolean one shape or item. So be sure to connect the inputs to the wires layer or it won't work. Now there's a switch. The switch allows you to emit a boolean zero or one signal depending on whether or not the button is pressed or not. This is useful for configuring your factory. You are creating fancy shapes. Why not show them off? The display allows you to render any type of signal you connect to the wire input. Okay, the constant signal allows you to admit any signal on the wires layer. Logic gates. The heart of every programmer beats faster. Logic circuits. With the and not XOR or OR gates, the game becomes Turing complete. Yeah, I guess it does. Transistor. The transistor allows you to block or forward a signal based on a secondary input. Oh my goodness, this is getting complicated. 
virtual shape processing. Now you can virtually process shapes on the wires layer. For example, the hub outputs the current goal shape and you can analyze it, split it into layers, and look at each quadrant individually. There's nothing preventing you from building a fully automated make everything machine. Okay, now we have a 180 degree rotator um, to be unlocked in the later levels. So basically it's not a CCW or CW rotator. And then there's the belt reader. Instead of having to calculate ratio, simply put a belt reader on the belt and have it measure the throughput. Additionally, it outputs the last red item on the wires layer. Standalone only since the demo doesn't have a wires layer. Further improvements or fixes. There are so many improvements, I couldn't make a fancy image for all of them. However, they are definitely worth a read. Well, okay, a lot of it's just, let's see, like uh, added 120 hertz refresh setting, adding proper config proper confirmation when deleting a save game, adding disable zooming. Okay, enough of that. Well, shoot. So let's okay that. Unnamed. So I can actually name them now. Interesting. So let's turn the music off for now. Okay, so we'll turn that off. And we'll go back. And I think we're going to go ahead and start a new game here. So let us do it. Okay, so deliver 30 of the circles. All right. So this is supposed to be smoother. Oh, look at that. Okay, well, it's a lot easier to see the shapes now. That's a good thing. Okay. Yeah, I like that. All right. Before, it was a really hard time trying to read all those little shapes. So they've, they've done a good. That's a good thing. Okay, so if uh, so, we're gonna do the usual thing here. Now we have the belts. Where are the belts? Right. So basically, bring them right to the uh, right to the hub. That hasn't changed. Okay, so we're gonna let that build up. I can't chain them yet, can I? Boy, they are really slow. The belts are really slow now. There we go. All right. So it won't take long to get 30. Now, what was the other thing? There was a, was it F? Go to F. All right. So this is going to upgrade that. So we're going to want to worry about these two. So tier one. Um, let's go ahead to here. Oh, level one. There we go. So... This will allow us to split stuff. All right. I think we remember how to do that. But we're also going to go ahead and uh, put some of these here so we can get working on the on the tiers. The graphics seem to be a little bit better, unless I'm wrong. They seem to be. They seem to be a little better. Okay, so let's hit F. See what's uh, going on there. Okay, we've got that happening. Tier one. Okay, we need to worry about the. Uh, the star. And do we have any of those close by? Probably not. Okay. Might as well get it going. So, I'm very curious to see just what how big of a difference this makes. Very curious. All the, the wire updates and everything. This could be interesting. I'm intrigued. Very intrigued. Okay, where's the hub? Nope, we went past it. Of course we did. Did we? Yeah, kind of. So, this is weird without the music, but by the time you're listening to this, I think we'll have Factorio music going. I wish I could get the... Normally what I do, here's a, a little insight into um, video making, video editing for YouTube. Um, I, the way I typically work is... Uh, when I do a game, I turn the music off for recording and then input the music back in with the final cut. And the reason being is that uh, editing has to happen. There's ums and ahs and dead space that, you know, for your benefit, just needs to be taken out. And uh, with that in mind, I felt that... Uh, I felt that it's better to not have the music playing in the background because then... So it just sounds like gibberish, if that makes sense. 
and just add it in after the fact. And unfortunately, I don't have this soundtrack saved as a separate sound file. I can't find it as a separate sound file. So therefore, just got to suck it up. Okay, now I really wish I could salvage... Really wish I could salvage the, uh, the second half of this thing. Because what we're doing is we're slicing the circle. And, uh... We can only use one half of it. Okay, oops. Let's put the trash, put the uh, trash receptacle there. That way we can get everything to come through. So, where are we at right now? Um, if we do the, if we do that check. Okay, we can't mix and paint just yet. So while we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and see if we can increase, uh, see if we can just um, increase the output of these uh, things here so let's go ahead and do that and there's a way we can do that we just turn them into each other there we go i guess that should work right no i guess not oh we have to merge them don't we oh that sucks you can't just put them onto the belt poo okay well fooey oops uh, i keep thinking like uh I keep thinking like uh, Factorio. Oh, but I can just... Oh, there we go. So this is... The multifunction balancer has been unlocked. It can be used to build for splitting and merging items onto onto uh, multiple belts. Okay, well that actually... Boom, that helped. Oh, daggummit. Um, that actually helps. That solves our immediate problem right here. So let's go ahead. I forgot about this thing. Um, that's going to go like that. And... This is going to go like that. And this is going to go like that. Balancer here. And let's go ahead and stick another balancer right there. Alright, so there we go. Oh, and um, balancer here. So it doesn't jam up. So that's going to increase our output of those. Oh yeah, that's right. And so we hit, we upgrade that. Upgrade our belts. Um, yeah, but that does not do us any good because we can't rotate. The splitters only work from top to bottom. They don't work across, so we'd have to get a rotator to make that one work. That's going to vastly increase our tier 1 for cutting, rotating, and stacking. Okay, so where are we at now? What do we need? We need uh, split squares, don't we? Alright, well, so be it. So how quickly can we split squares? Okay, so we still need these for extraction. We still need the the uh, full squares to come in so we can uh, tear up, but... <laughs> tear up. Like we're going to start crying or something. Okay, so where's squares... Where can we find some squares off in this direction so we can keep that side of the hub open? Okay, right here. We're just going to do it right here. Too easy. And what are we talking about? We're talking about splitting it. And let's see which side is which here. Okay, new upgrade is available. Okay, so we want this side. We want the right side. And the left side's going to get trashed. For now. Well, let's see what our upgrade does. Okay, we're going to upgrade that. And then for tier 2, we need a quarter circle. Which we can't do yet because we don't have rotators or quad splitters. Darn it. Okay. Belts are moving a little faster. That's a good thing. Okay, put the trash here, and the belt down here, and it will be a merger, and then let's get the extractor there, and let's put another snipper extractor in place, or a snipper um, trash can, and... Okay. Well, that's a start. It is a start. And then, as time goes by, once we get this uh, next stage done, then we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and probably delete some of this, because this is just... We've, we're already just gumming everything up. So, I don't like doing that. Uh, two. I gotta start using the hotkeys. My goodness. Oh, there we go. 
Hell yeah. We got our rotator. Useful key bindings. Got it. Okay. So, let's do two. Put that like that. And then, we are suddenly going to... Oh, wait a second. We don't need this anymore, do we? Do we need this anymore? Uh, da, 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 da. uh Gotta get my keys straight. No, we don't need this anymore. So... Actually, what... We could take this and color it blue. We could. But... Okay. Control. I can take all of this and delete it. Nice. Okay. So let's think about these circles. And if we go to F again, make sure we don't need any... Okay, we need circles on the bottom, circles on the top. Oy vey. Okay. So we can do the circles down here. Uh, do we need full circles at all? I didn't notice. Yeah, we still need the full circles. Probably not as many, but we still need some. Um, okay. So, I think what we can do is we'll do the splitter here. I'm um, not the splitter, but the rotator. And like that. Okay. And just to verify, do we need... Okay, here we didn't need them. Um, so we're starting to, to meet that requirement. Ugh. Trying to get my wits about me here. And... Oh, you know what? Okay, so here's a thing we can do. So we can salvage these by putting the rotator, the merger, and a belt. Just like that. So now we're meeting both requirements. I'll do that. And then... Although it would make sense... No, 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 no. Ro like, rotate it before it's split? No, that makes absolutely no sense. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so that should actually put both on the belt, and that's going to help meet our requirement for uh, for the both the tier and the leveling up. So with the tier 2, our requirements kind of met, and the leveling up, our requirements kind of met. Good. So... Uh, let's see if we can increase this just a little bit more. Oh man, I wish we could cut and paste. Can we still? We can't cut and paste yet, right? Hang on, let's do the upgrade. Let's do this upgrade. Cutting, rotating, and stacking. Upgrade, please. Wow, that happened. Oh, the squares. Okay. So we need to start splitting squares, don't we? we need to start doing the same thing to squares. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, and what did it say? It said we wanted the right side, correct? So, this one's going to be fine, like that. Okay, so now we're going to have both of them turned into right half squares. I hope all of this verbiage makes sense. Okay, and that was for what now? That was for two, 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 tier two cutting and extracting. Now we could split it and start coloring them when the time comes, but uh, you know, one thing at a time, we don't have the ability to color anything right now. Okay, so again, I wish I could copy paste. And then two, the merger. Okay, then the belt. There we go. Okay. So we've got half squares there. Um, these upper circles, they're slowly going, but I just don't, I don't want to forget these these tiers right here. Okay, so if we can find circles here, we can work on the quarter circles that we need. So let's go ahead and do that. Now for these, we don't have a quad splitter yet. So 
how can we do this? Um, dang, I really wish I had the ability to cut and paste right now. So, what we would do is we would rotate the pieces after they're cut, then slice them again. Okay, and they need to be in the upper right. Okay, which means this one would have to be rotated twice. This one would have to be rotated... Can it be three times? Okay, then this one... Okay, clearly... I'm not going to be able to put the splitter right after the extractor. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to start doing the thing where we belt the... Uh, we belt everything from the extractors to a clear area, and then in that clear area we're going to have to build these machines that are going to make the things we need. Because holy crap. Um, so then this gets rotated once and this stays put. Oh! Alright, so we have tunnels. Great. We're going to need them. I'm sure. Okay, oh great, so there we go. The right hand circles. We need 270 of them. Well, we are already on the way to make that happen. Okay, so this is going to go here. Um, this is going to go here. Actually, let's take that. Let's do that. And let's do this. Bring them up. And let's go ahead and put another one right here. And belt. And let's bring this puppy to the hub. Okay, that's still going to take some time. Wait a second. Oh, there you go. Okay, I was going to say, wait a second, I know we're making a bunch of them. Why is it counting? Why is it not counting? Because the boats are so dang slow. The belts. Oh, you know what, though? We could probably run a second belt, couldn't we? Okay, and let's go ahead and attach this. Might get a little bit faster throughput. We'll see. Possibly. I want to make sure none of these are, like, jamming up here. If they are, then we need to fix that. And this is how we fix it. Too easy. And we rotate this to here, and then we put a splitter. I'm sorry, a merger. I keep calling them splitters. I'm thinking Factorio. We put that right there. That's going to relieve some of the pressure, and that should help make nice, smooth throughput. Okay, let's get our upgrade here. Uh, upgrade to cutting. All right, so that's going to increase our cutting speed. Ah, oh, son of a biscuit. That right. That's right. Forgot about that thing. Okay. So that's going pretty good. What else are we... What requirements are we maybe not meeting? Well, we can't paint anything just yet, so... Everything that we can't paint, we are... Or everything that we don't need to paint, we're doing okay. That's great. Okay, should be just about... There we go. Yes, the painter. Got it. Great, so it just complicated our life just a little bit. <sighs> Red circles. All right, so we're going to have to extract paint, and we're going to have to extract circles. And interestingly enough, both of what we need is right here. Now, is there any reason we need to keep this other thing going? Yeah, yeah, there is. Yes, there is. Okay. Otherwise, I would just make it go away. Um... So look, first of all, let's kind of evaluate what we're doing right now and see if there's anything that can indeed go away. Did I just delete something? Yeah, I sure did. It was an extractor. Okay. Let's take a look. So circles we still need. Um, let's see. Quarter circles we still need. I think we don't need the upper circles anymore. Am I right? We don't need the upper circles. We can turn them to lower circles, right? Yeah, so let's do that. Um, so we're going to have to move this merger here. The upper circles can become lower circles, so we need to rotate like this. And then we can merge. Something like that. Okay. And same here. On these upper circles, we can just um, did that not do what we wanted it to do? 
No, 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 that's fine. Okay, so one there, and then one more here. And that should... No, 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 no. Oops, my bad. My bad, there was already a rotator there. Okay, so that ought to do it. So that's going to increase that. Basically, I just want to see if, if make sure that uh, all these machines here are actually doing work that we still need done. Because, like, yeah, that's still working, that's still needed, that's still needed. Okay, so now we are indeed going to have to go to a different spot and work on, um, work on these circles. So let's extract some paint. First of all, let's get a painter. Um, oh, right, we can select which side. Okay. And the painter is number nine on the hotkey. Uh, so honestly, which would be easier? I guess we could put it here. Yeah, I guess we could put it here. And let's go ahead and put another painter right here. And another painter here. All right, why am I doing that, you ask? Well, because... I just know that we're going to need more than one painting machine. And right there. All right. So we built the circles in. Factorio can spoil you as far as uh, ease of use. But that's all right. That's all right. It's a pretty good game. If you've never played this before, it's a pretty good game. It's very abstract, and, and unlike Factorio, in that you don't actually need resources to build things. That's kind of a, a nice thing to not have to think about, to be honest. I mean, Factorio is a lot more practical in that regard. Okay, so that ought to do that. Now let's go ahead and get our, get our color extractors done. Um, well, I didn't think that one through, did I? So then I think we can merge these belts, to be honest. For now. And let's tunnel under this and bring it down to, down to here, I guess. Ah, I keep wanting to hit the map button. Just like Factorio, I keep wanting to hit the map button, but, uh, it keeps having to correct my sorry butt. Okay, so the next one, does it need to? No, it does not need any more tunnels. So let's go ahead, place this. And if you can't tell, I'm moving around. I'm moving the belt, trying to drag it in a straight line using uh, the uh, scrolling around the map function rather than using the mouse. So it just, it goes straighter that way. Okay, so there's our red circles. They're coming in. And that's going to be giving us some stuff. Okay, there we go. Upgrade is available. That's giving us progress. Uh, which one did we just do? This one. Lower circles. So now what? Purple circles. Okay. Problem here, though, is in order to get purple or magenta or fuchsia or whatever, we need to, um, we need to start in an area where both blue and red is available, so we can mix them. And what about here? We got we can get red, lots of red. Um, I suppose right here, we can get blue and red. So here's what we'll do. We'll get started on that. Let's first of all let's go to the hub, see what it says C to uh, unlock counterclockwise rotating. Okay, that's not going to help us right now. So we we've got some time. So let's go ahead, get a jump on it. Extract the blue. And let's do multiple extractings for the blue. And let's go down here to the red. Let's uh, go ahead and extract circles. And what I don't know is whether or not... Okay, the color mixers, the color mixers... Um, I don't exactly know how, I don't remember how they're laid out. So I can't tell you, I can't put belts in places um, not knowing that. 
So first of all, we're going to put that there. And let's go ahead and run the belts, which we know we're going to need. And this is going to go under there. And then it's going to go under here. And then... Okay, basically we're kind of killing time until we level up to the next thing here. But uh, to be honest, we are working ahead here. Okay, so that's that. We're just working ahead. And then this is going to give us fuchsia circles. I know, you're saying, how in the world does a male know what fuchsia is? You're not, you're not supposed to know colors beyond the basic three. Now here's an interesting thing. If you notice about this game, it's very abstract. Now you have extractors and painters and snippers and things that, you know, kind of hearken to physics. The physics of a game, you know, physical stuff. You physically cut something. You physically paint something. You physically rotate it. However, as far as, it's got a paint roller here, like we physically paint something. But notice what we're dealing with. We're dealing with primary colors, red, green, and blue. And if you don't know, red, green, and blue are the primary colors of light, which basically means something that's projected onto a screen, for example, or flashlights, you know, take different colored lenses and mix them. Not something you can physically do anything with. These are, the, uh, the, again, the primary colors of light. If you mix red and green, you get yellow. Whereas ye red, yellow, and blue are the primary colors of pigment, of actual paint. So if you want to get, if you mix red and yellow, you get orange. If you want, you know, green isn't a primary color among pigments. It You have to get it by mixing yellow and blue. So... It's, it's kind of interesting that, uh, you know, it, it kind of touches on these physical concepts, but it's using abstract concepts like, uh, like the colors of light as opposed to the colors of pigment, physical pigment. So, all right, we are still waiting on the red circles. Let's see what our tier progress looks like. Is there anything that we're not making any progress? Oh yeah, 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 yeah! Oh, son of a biscuit! Yeah, these, these, uh, these court, these uh, half squares, these half squares right here. We could have been doing that. I totally forgot about that. Well, tell you what, let's do that. So, in order to make that happen, we're going to come over here, I think. And first thing we're going to do, it's much more efficient. Okay, counterclockwise rotator. That's great. Next level, sure. Um, ah, here we go. There we go. The, the squares. So we're already getting started on it. So here's the best way to do this, first of all, is... Um, is to make the squares. And then... Let's see. Uh, we make the squares first. Uh, no, number nine, right? Number nine. There we go. Um, and then we paint them blue. We make the blue squares first, and then we, uh, we slice them, and it's just more efficient that way. So, let's go ahead and set up a battery of slicers and dicers. Or not slicers, a battery of painters, and then we're going to slice them and rotate them counterclockwise or clockwise or whatever we need to do. So, um, so three. Okay, so we're going to snip them. See if I've got if I'm doing this right. If I'm spacing this right. Okay, and then we're going to merge that into one. Hopefully, that's enough. All right, and. Uh, two. Okay, for those of you who maybe have followed, um, I've put out a video on how you win the last level of this game. Well, um, this kind of throws a monkey wrench in that. Because now we've got an entirely new set of challenges here. Yeah, we've got an entirely new set of challenges. So, I don't know how easily... Um... 
I don't know how well that video of mine is going to translate into this new dynamic. So I apologize right now if what you're seeing is like, hey, Joe, this is... So just saying, if it's like, hey, this is, this is out of date, why is that? Uh, I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. Okay, why? Is it going the wrong way? It is. It's totally going the wrong way. Eh. So if it is out of date, I apologize. We're, I'm working to fix that. So that's part of why I'm doing what I'm doing. Let's explore this new data together, if you haven't already. Okay. So we've got those blue squares popping in. Those uh, half squares. So that's going to help a lot. And what was the other thing? Fuchsia circles, because we can't color, we can't mix colors yet. Well, we'll fix that. What level are we at? Level eight. Okay. All right. Very cool. Level eight. Okay. So we got the color mixer. Let's get started on that post haste, shall we? Um. So where is it? Ah, right. Yeah. Okay. So color mixer. Eight. That's right. I remember it was number eight. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, the color mixer. So if we want to make fuchsia, we do so by uh, mixing. Okay, that that blue that is not efficient for that one to go there. Up, oh, let's get the upgrade. Yes, boom, mixing and painting. Okay, so that thing. Ugh. Okay, so. It's not efficient for us to do it, to run that belt immediately there. So this one, it's most efficient if I do it here. We do that, that. Okay, and now that we've got fuchsia coming out, you can see the little, the little paint pellets right there. And that should give us our circles. Yep, you can already see we've got some fuchsia circles appearing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So let's go ahead and merge the splitters. And okay, let's bring at least one belt up and see if we can um, if we can just bring, uh, attach it right to an existing belt here. So we can do that. The belts don't have to be dedicated. In fact, you know what? The way this belt is going, let's go ahead and merge this like that, and let's remove this belt. There, and we can just remove that splitter and just bring these circles just like that. Okay, we need 600 of these bad boys for level nine. And uh, so that's gonna take some time. So we're gonna wait that out. So stand by. Okay, I'm just gonna remove some of these belts here to just kinda smooth things over a little bit, open things up. Okay. So now we have, what, a merger. Okay, merger balancer. So it's a, uh, it's a variant that is a little bit more complex. Well, that's, or a little bit more uh, compact, not complex. We're running close to an hour here, so uh, I, think, uh, I think we'll go ahead and leave it at that. Um, okay, so this is going to unlock the stacker. Very cool. Okay, no, that's actually very cool because looking at cancel... Looking at the next level, in order to make this shape right here, we have to stack stuff and uh, can't do that just yet. We have to do this other shape, but we can do this one here. And I think that's what we're going to work on next time. But for now, so this is uh, this is the shape's 1.2 standalone update. And uh, anyway, I hope you guys found this interesting and um, hopefully you guys will uh, be around for the next one. I will see you then. Ciao.